days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Where the stars inside the sky We're the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Hello Capricorn, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 6th of November until the 12th of November 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Eight of Pentacles. You are working away at the finer details of the various aspects of your life in an effort to continuously improve your situation. You may be unhappy with your current state and you know you need to make some important changes in your life to increase your overall satisfaction. This card is a really positive sign that you are committed to making those changes and to ensuring that you give yourself the best possible chance. Overall, this is a very hard-working and conscientious energy that is present in your life. Keep doing what you are doing as it will eventually lead to success. Yes, it requires a lot of dedication, focus and patience but as each day passes and as you stay true to your values and beliefs, you get a little closer to your goal. It may not be as apparent as you may like but events are unfolding that will lead you to the right path. Continue working on yourself, too and making ongoing improvements and adjustments to ensure that you are the best person you can be. You may want to further your education or study in order to hone your skills. You may already be proficient in a particular skill set but you are now seeking to master those skills. For example, you may be a great home cook but now you are starting to focus your attention on fine French cuisine. Or perhaps you have learnt the basics of tarot reading but now you want to become a tarot expert. You know that it will require a lot of focus and dedication in your studies but you are willing to work hard and to pay attention to the details. You know that you will not learn these advanced skills overnight but you are prepared for the journey towards becoming a master at your chosen expertise. If you are not currently engaged in the active pursuit of your goals, ask yourself what you could learn or create to better yourself or your circumstances. If you are already engaged in the pursuit of new learning, the Eight of Pentacles may be a card of encouragement and reassurance that the energy you invest in your development will be worth your while. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is the Six of Pentacles. What do you want most right now is financial assistance from others or you may want to give some help to others around you. If you are the wealthy man, then you have accumulated great wealth and are now in a position where you can offer financial assistance to those in need. Now that you have lived through the darkness long enough to see the inner light, it is time to help others who are not so fortunate. Consider giving to charity or reaching out a helping hand to someone who needs your support. The generosity of the six does not limit itself to money and material things. Giving of your time or your wisdom is often just as spiritually fulfilling as giving away money or gifts, and the intangible gift of your presence is received just as well, if not better. You may also be inclined to make a loan to someone, on the premise that they will eventually pay you back once they are back on their feet. This is a loan built on trust and good faith, knowing that if you give something away, it will come back to you. Remember, though, that this is more about a short-term fix and not a sustainable solution towards self-sufficiency. So, 
Think about how you can financially support your family or friends in a way that encourages them to stand on their own two feet eventually. If you are the beggars in the Six of Pentacles, then you may be the recipient of someone else's charitable activities. This will help you to get back on your feet and to eventually repay the charitable organization or individual, either with your time or your restored wealth. You will also need to identify ways in which you can become more self-sufficient in the long run. The risk of accepting charity is that you become dependent on it and cannot look after yourself. Be mindful that you are not becoming submissive or noticeably desperate as a result of the charity that someone else is providing you. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Eight of Swords. You are afraid and feeling trapped by your own thoughts and perspectives. The woman in this card is blindfolded and bound, trapping her into thinking that she has no way out. However, if only she could remove the blindfold and change her thinking, she would see that she does indeed have options. So, the Eight of Swords suggests that you need to look at a difficult situation from a new angle. Draw upon your intellectual self and your emotional self to determine the best path forward, one that avoids any possible victimization or restriction. You have come through a difficult time and you are becoming more open to change and self-acceptance. You have been able to reflect on what did and did not work in the past and have changed your perspective and approach. You acknowledge that you do indeed have options, and you are refusing to play the role of the victim, taking greater accountability for where you are in life. The Eight of Swords indicates that you need to free yourself from some of the limiting factors of your past. You have some skeletons in the closet that need clearing out. Allow yourself to let go of old patterns of behavior and belief systems that have previously held you back. The fourth card for you is representing what is going for you. Your card is the Ace of Cups. There is a new beginning of love happiness and compassion. It can indicate the start of a new relationship, be it a friendship or a romance. This is one of those relationships where you feel happy and you are so pleased to have met someone with whom you can share a special connection. The water in the card reflects the flow of emotion and thus the Ace of Cups suggests that positive emotion and energy will be created between two people in a way that leaves you feeling good about yourself and life in general. You need to experience the feeling of new love or of giving and receiving unconditional love. Give and accept love on a new level and open your heart to what is around you. Your loving ways will magnetize love to you. This card often means that love is the essence of the situation. It may or may not be romantic love. Look for ways in which you can begin to connect with others. Do you have someone to forgive, or do you want to ask for forgiveness? Can you set aside your anger and find peace? Would you like to drop your reserve and let your feelings show? This is a peaceful time in your life so use it and make peace with friends or yourself. The Ace of Cups is also about creative expression, particularly where there is an opportunity to allow your emotions to shine through. You are very open to experiencing your inner feelings and sharing them with others. You may be inspired to start a new creative project, take up an art class or two or even engage in interpretative dance. You are at that point in your life where you feel comfortable with who you are and what you feel and you are not afraid to express that part of yourself to others. You see new potential in allowing your creative juices to flow and as such, you are open to new possibilities and stimulating your imagination to allow your talent to unfold. There is certainly a generous, compassionate component to the Ace of Cups. This is a time of giving, not taking, and offering yourself to a new opportunity to help others. You have the power to bring great happiness to others and to share your contentment and positive energy. You will also find that the more you give, 
the more you receive on multiple levels. The Ace of Cups often points to fertility. From a very literal point of view, this means that the Ace of Cups can indicate conception, pregnancy or birth. There may be the birth of a new idea or a spark of new inspiration. It can represent the beginning of a project in which a great deal of loving and creative energy is invested. The fifth card for you is representing what is going against you. Your card is the Nine of Swords. You are full of fear, worry, anxiety and not being able to sleep because your thoughts are running at 100 miles an hour. You are working yourself up and becoming incredibly stressed and anxious when, really, this does not have to be a complicated issue. You have a tendency to get very worked up about how bad a situation appears, losing sight of what it is really happening and what opportunities are available to you. What is needed here is for you to stop and objectively examine the reality of the situation. Bring yourself back to earth by uncovering your fears and anxieties and working to reduce the impact of those fears and anxieties on your life. Know that it is going to be okay, no matter what. Overall, your worry and despair may actually be causing you harm. The more you worry about something, the more likely it is you will manifest your worst nightmares. Do not let this nightmare become your reality. Take a deep breath and realize that life is not as bad as it seems and that the more you worry, the more harm you are doing to yourself. It is also possible that you have already worked through this period of worry and depression and are beginning to make recovery. You may have recently come to the realization that it is not as bad as you had made it out to be and you are beginning to relax and calm yourself about what was once a terrifying situation. You may also find that your dreams are very telling at this time. Use a dream journal to help you analyze what is happening at a subconscious level. The last card for you is representing the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is the Page of Wands. You are experiencing a creative restlessness within you that is just waiting for some sort of expression, or, you may be on the verge of some sort of discovery or new phase of life. The Page of Wands represents the sudden creative spark that comes to you, suddenly and unexpectedly, and that starts you down the road of a new creative vision. Thus, he encourages you to express yourself and your individuality with light-hearted abandon. Listen to your unconscious mind and follow your creative urges, even if you are worried about being the lonely voice crying out in the wilderness. With persistence and a balanced perspective even the immature desires of the page of wands can be transformed into a beautiful creative vision that can change the world. Similarly, the Page of Wands indicates that you need to be positive and spontaneous but not overly impulsive. Your enthusiasm impresses others but if you become impatient or quick to anger or ooze interest, you will put others offside and you will waste time in your creative projects. With the Page of Wands, you are inclined to give anything and everything a go. If you are enthusiastic or passionate enough, you embrace the opportunity to start out on a new journey or project and see where it takes you. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed but you do know that you are excited about the possibilities. You are enjoying being busy and involved in various activities and projects. You like the freedom of being able to choose what you will work on today and hopefully it is different from what you worked on the day before. Oftentimes, the Page of Wands is a messenger, bringing you inspiring or unexpected news, new information or a welcome surprise. It may be the birth of a child, a new and inspiring idea that a friend has, or a new opportunity for you to be involved in to change the world such as a community project. His news is nearly always positive and welcomed because it is often associated with change and creation. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is 
The Air and Water Dragon Call on your blue and green air and water dragon to enter your third eye to awaken and activate your higher fifth dimensional abilities. This will bring you crystal clear clarity and new vision and awareness of life. Your third eye is a very sensitive psychic center and when it is fifth dimensional, the air and water dragons clarify and protect it and enhance your ability to use it for the highest good. They then enable you to connect to Neptune, the planet of higher spirituality, to open to new enlightened understanding. Choosing this card calls on you to use your intuition as well as your spiritual knowledge and wisdom to see everything from an illumined perspective. Air and water dragons will then surround you and enable your life to flow. They will attune you so that your voice expresses the true notes of your soul. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.